insulting me? Why are you touching me? No, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Why did you just touch me? Why did you just touch me? What? If I did that to you, would I, if I did that to you, would I get charged with assault? Yes. I probably would. Maybe he I probably would. Yeah, they're not letting me back in. Trying to help your guys. Maybe he left us. Okay. You and I have talked. I know this. This is separate from that. He just he just assaulted me. Understand? They're holding the line so I can talk with your guys. for Rebel News here at Parliament Hill. Well, there is a group of people with um, loudspeakers, it would appear, and it seems that bylaw is on the scene to, uh, I guess, eject them, ticket them. It's hard to tell what's going on, but we're going to be here and see what goes down in the moments ahead. Sir, Tom, can, Tom can, can you tell me what the issue is here, please? The issue is that we had an uh, permit on Parliament Hill uh, for speeches, DJs, live music. We got in there and none of our people came in because they're getting strip searched. Well, not strip searched, but searched. Uh, their bags are getting gone through, their phones are getting checked. So nobody wanted to come in, rightfully so. So we tried to bring our speakers out to the street and OPS shut that down. So. And why is that, sir? Because Wellington Street is closed off. It has been since January, basically. That's, so what's going on? That's right. Well, they're saying we don't have a permit, so which we don't. Uh, but if we, uh, if we stay mobile, we can do our speeches just like we do when we do our marches. So. But it's odd because it, the space from Parliament Hill to the street here on Wellington is just a matter of a few meters, isn't it? That's correct, yeah. This is the Canada we live in now, so we get used to this. <laughs> You almost expect to see football guys with the chains come out and measure the distance. But So how is this going to be resolved? Well, that's yet to be seen, but uh, we're uh, pretty adaptable, so we'll find a way. We either do it here, keep moving. Or if uh, PPS wants to work with us, then we can get our, our speakers inside the fence and, uh, and make our speeches happen. And have they given you any threats in terms of fines or anything like that? Yeah, they did threat to, or threaten to fine us for our speakers, and they also threatened to take them if we didn't turn them off. So. And you just want to play music on your speakers, right? Music and speeches, that's correct. Yeah. On Canada's birthday. Does it feel like Canada these days to you? Uh, North Canada, yes. <laughs> Officer, can you tell me what's happening here, please? Sir, officer, can you tell me what's happening here? What the arrest? Nobody wants to talk to you, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> You're gonna go not here. Never to you. <laughs> officer, could you kindly tell me what's happening here today? Because we are second no, no, class citizenship. Would you like me to tell you, buddy? Sure. Second what's class citizen, what's happening, sir? Communism. They're telling us what to do, where to go, where to stand, you what we can say. To other it's corners. horrible, man. I thought protesting was allowed in Canada. We want, we want peace, right? Yes. So we're willing. We're going to work with them. And there is a permit for this. We're going in. I told them a we, permit. A permit for what, sir? For the for the music, but we can't get through. They're checking everybody with metal detectors. Yeah. Huge lineups. We can't get in, right? Yes. So I said to her, "Let us in." So they don't want music on Parliament Hill. Is that clear? Exactly. Oh, Not man. out here. You're insulting me. Why are you touching me? No, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Why did you just touch me? Why did you just touch me? What? If I did that to you, would I, if I did that to you, would I get charged with assault? Yes. I probably would. Maybe he I probably would. Yeah, they're not letting me back in. Trying to help your guys. Maybe he Okay. You and I have talked. Let I know this. This is separate from that. He just he just assaulted me. Understand? They're holding the line so I can talk with your guys. No, I understand. What they're doing. Okay. I'm just trying to get back in because I gave a piece of my personal property to someone in there, and I'm just trying to facilitate this for you. Okay. Let us do our job. We're not trying to conflict. You hear me? Understand. Okay. Thank you. Why don't Why don't you guys let us go in there and save the hassle? Yeah, open some more gates open so some that gates. Uh, we can get in faster. Let us go in, man. So let us have our music here. here. Let us in we got there. Open in the, the gates, for, please. For one month. Please, one man. Out. Is there actually a... Uh, please. Is there actually a reason, officer, why you touched that man? Or? You won't talk to me, right? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just trying to get your side of the story out, so that's all. 
So here's a familiar face to uh, Rebel News viewers. This is Jim Kerr, he of the bubble bus. Last time he was in Ottawa, I think the bubble bus got towed twice from private property, but that's the way they roll here in Ottawa. Jim, you were there when the police came or the bylaw enforcement officers uh, onto Parliament Hill. And like, what is going on? You, you, They can have the speakers on Parliament Hill, but they can not have it a few meters uh, over here on Wellington Street. Why is that? They applied for a permit. They got the permit for all day. Then they canceled the permit. And then after they canceled the permit, they let them have it again, but only between 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock. And because they're restricting everybody from going through on a very, very slow fashion, nobody can get up top. So when they had the speakers up top, they moved them closer, and then the uh, parliamentary police had a problem with it. So they said, okay, fine, we're going to go out to the street. They came out to the street, the bylaw shut them down, and you heard the story from them. Well, there you have it, folks. I think there was some kind of compromise reached. It looks like the speakers are allowed on the other side of the fence separating Parliament Hill from Wellington Street. So, in other words, all that kerfuffle, all that nonsense, all that law enforcement theater, it all came down to a compromise in which the speakers were moved maybe, what, 10 centimeters? Well, at least they are getting to broadcast on Wellington Street. So, they won, I think. Protest, contrary to popular belief or the popular belief by the Liberal Party of Canada, um, supported by Jagmeet Singh, protest is still allowed on the streets of our great Dominion on Dominion Day. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. And folks, I'm going to um, reach out to you and make a plea. If you can go to ottawareports.ca, that's ottawareports.ca, that's where we'll archive all our footage. But it does cost money for this entire Rebel team to come here, but we think it's necessary. You're never going to see the reportage of that outrage that just happened to Maurizio and I from the likes of the CBC and CTV and Global. So if you can kick in a buck or three, I would greatly appreciate that so we can continue to bring you the other side of the story.